And once again, happy Father's Day to all the men. Amen. Happy Father's Day to uh, all the men. So all the men, will you stand up? I would love to pray for you. All the men, will you stand up? I would love to pray for you. All the men, will you stand up? If, you sh- if you're not sure you're a man, sit down, you know. <laughs> all the men, stand up. I would love to pray for you. Glory to God. I, I want to bless you from Genesis chapter 48 and 49. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before I bless you with Genesis 48 49, let me use some of that scripture. Genesis 22, 27 first. This is the blessing that Isaac spoke over Jacob. The Bible says this, and it came near Genesis chapter 27 verse 27. And he came here and kissed him and he smelt him. The smell of his ribbons and blessed him and said, The smell of my son is the smell of the field that the Lord has blessed. It was a pronouncement from today. The aura of blessing will go with you anywhere you go. He declared on him. He smelt him. He said, hmm. He said, your smell is the smell of the field the Lord has blessed. I declare that when people come in contact with you, God will have goodwill towards you. I said they will have goodwill towards you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The next verse, verse 28. I'm blessing from the word of God. Verse 28. He said, because the smell of my son is the smell of the field the Lord has blessed. Verse 28 says, therefore, the Lord give him the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. Can I bless you today? The condition necessary for your promotion will happen for your sake. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know what to do, but I pray that the Lord will grant you the dew of heaven. It will grant you the fatness. It not just the earth. The fatness. The fatness. The fatness of the earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. What it takes to be a father, you will not lack it. I said what it takes to be a father, you will not lack it. You will not lead your family into ruin and destruction. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You will be a worthy example to your children. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 29 says. Let people serve you. Let nations bow down to thee. It says be Lord over your brethren. From this hour. Receive the mantle of leadership. Whatever you do. Receive the mantle of leadership. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When they are looking for who to appoint as minister, they will find you. When they are looking for commissioners, they will find you. When they are looking for managers, they will find you. When they are looking for CEOs, they will find you. Project managers, they will find you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? Say, I am blessed. Say, I have received leadership by grace in Jesus name amen please you can have your seat glory to God all right all right all right okay so we'll just go go into the word of God today so this month we have been teaching and I want to refer you to go back and watch on YouTube especially the second service teaching we have been teaching about the believers authority in Christ we've been teaching about the believers authority in Christ and the reason why is this sometimes once you don't know your authority you will not be able to exercise it once you don't know your authority you will not be able to exercise it so we've been teaching about the believers authority in Christ if you don't know your authority you will not be able to exercise it okay so let's get into the Word of God and let's see what the Word of God is saying and let's you know be able to believe into walk into this Act chapter Acts chapter 14 verse 11 that's a very good place to start from because it's a story of P, of, of, of believers that understood the authority the Bible says this Acts chapter 14 verse 11 and when they saw that Paul had, when they saw what Paul had done so Paul through understanding his authority did something he says when they saw what Paul had done they lifted up their voice saying in the speech of the Laconia the gods are come down to us in the likeness of men 
I don't know if you have it, yeah? He said, the gods are come down to us away in the likeness of men. The reason why they said that was because they saw what they have never seen before. And I'm saying this, the reason I'm saying so is this. Once a believer understands his authority, there are things that happen to other people that disturbs other people that doesn't even get to you at all. And the reason why is that you understand your authority. You understand your authority. You know, you know, I'm, you know, one of the things I did not realize early was how a lot of Christians were afraid of evil spirits. Because the background I came from as a Christian, we were thought our authority in Christ. And because we knew our authority in Christ, there was never fears of evil spirits. Some of you are very educated, so the way you choose to deal with it is to ignore it and be like, well, I don't want to think about things like that. And that way is also faulty. The way you have to deal with it is to, because it's an extreme. Sometimes you, you go on social media, Facebook, and you are, you, are, you are harassed by what Christians do in the name of getting a miracle. You are totally blown away that you mean that someone will go through all of this to get a miracle. But when you see the people that fall into those prey, something is common with them. They do not understand their authority in Christ. If you understand your authority in Christ, you will not even need to go to a pastor for some prayers because you will know who you are in Christ, what you have in Christ, and what you can do in Christ. There was a story I heard that, you know, and this was a very funny story. They eventually found out that this eight year old housemaid had an evil spirit. They said if it was Mami Wato or Banje, I don't know where they find out those kind of spirit, but she had an evil spirit. And you know what? And she was making the Madame and the Oga sick. And eventually knew she was the one and she told them that she was the one and you know what they did they called the young girl to the front and the ogre prostrated the madame knelt down and they said please we just want to release you just release us and these people were people that speak in tongues what is the use of you speaking in tongues if you cannot confront ordinary marine spirits there are many of you here there's a problem they will take you to the mountain to wash your head what are they washing your head from don't you realize the power you got? The Bible says, Acts 1 verse 8, you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. What power is in the mountain to wash your head? What can they wash in your head? And someone said, Pastor, I know my background. I know what they've done to me. Whatever they've done to you, there's authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. So the major part of this teaching is for us to understand our authority in the name of Jesus Christ. That as believers, we have authority. As believers, we, we're not disputing that Satan has power, but we have authority over him. We have authority over him. You know, in your family, you should not allow some things to happen. And that's why every month when we do the NLP fasting and prayer, the reason why we're saying that we're setting the tone for how the month will be. There are some things that we will not allow. How can you be in the family and everybody is struggling under the curse of poverty? Why are you there? You are there to break it. There are some things that you being there should affect the whole family. Because you are a child of power. Glory to God. I said glory to God. I said glory to God. So one of the questions people always ask is that why does evil happen in the world? The simple reason is that someone said, why is there Boko Haram? Why is there earthquake? Why are babies having autism and cerebral palsy? Is, it, is this what God wants for us? No. Those are not the things that God does. When God made the heavens and earth, he handed it over to man. Okay, let me give an example. This is my phone. Where's Chuma? Chuma, come. This is my phone. This is my phone. It is my phone. But I love him so much. I said, Chuma, I'm giving you this phone. I'm, I'm giving you this phone. If you see this phone damaged, is it a reflection of my person or a reflection of his person? So when God made the earth, he gave the earth to man. Let me show you that quickly. Psalm 115. Let's look at that. Psalm 115. Verse 16. So this explains why horrible things happen on earth. Psalm 115 verse 16. Let's shoot one to go. Let's shoot together. One to go. Are you ready? The heavens, even the heavens are the Lord's. But the earth as it what? Given to the children of men. The living Bible translation says this. 
he has given dominion of the earth to the children of men so this is the earth god has given it to man you know what man did in his stupidity when man had control of the earth he fell he submitted himself to satanic fall and handed his fall come come calibi and this is what he did he took the earth and handed it over to satan this is what he did when adam fell he handed over the earth to satan and because the nature of satan is evil the nature of satan filled the earth so that's why you have all the bad things happen because the nature of the ruler of the earth is now all over the earth the reason for the hatred see what the bible says about satan john 10 10 he said the devil come to steal to kill and destroy what do you have in the world today stealing killing and destruction because of the nature of satan so in fact second corinthians 4 4 says it this way you know what second for second four four says satan is the king of this world is the god of this world second corinthians 4 4 i wanted to put it there quickly i'm russian uh, you know second chance 4 4 it says satan is the god of this world it says look at it in whom the god of this world has blinded their minds he called him the god of this world for him to be god he must be ruling he must have influence so he has influence look at luke chapter 4 verse 5 luke chapter 4 verse 5 so he's called the god of this world so when you see some things go on wrong in business go wrong here it's the god of this world that is what working luke chapter 4 verse 5 the bible says and satan taking jesus up into a mountain when he says he's taking him it was not as if satan was holding his hand and say um, let's go no 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 it was in his thoughts it was in his thought it was not as if he saw satan the reason why is that if jesus christ's temptation saw satan it would be unfair if i don't see satan because who will fall if you see satan the bible says and the devil taking him up into a high mountain showed him what he showed him all the kingdoms of the world in the moment of time there's no way he could have done that if not in his thinking what did he show him he you know what he did because the God of this world, he showed, he, he showed Jesus Christ his influence in politics. He showed his influence in finances. He showed him everything in the moment in his thinking. Look at what it says in verse 6. And when he showed him, what did he say? He says, and the devil said to him, all this power will I give unto you. And the glory for what? Le- next line, read next line. For what? For that is delivered unto me. Question, who delivered it to Satan? No, talk to me. Was it God that gave it to Satan? Who delivered it to Satan? Adam, Adam did that. He delivered to. He says, he says, how did he deliver? He delivered it to Satan. So the authority that Adam has was man gave to him. So when you see things happen on earth, back to the phone. I want to hold the phone. No, give it back to Satan. You know, you're not Satan, but you know, hold on to it, Satan. What you you know, just hold the phone like this. Yeah, you know exactly. You know, this is our figurative Satan for today. You know, and, and if you see, just shake it. Just be wicked to it it's just satan it's not god because god has given it to man and man has given to satan so satan said all this was given to me why do we put that early because satan is in charge why do kids are they born with abnormality because satan is in charge why do people have peace rest because satan is in charge because the evil nature of satan shows in the in the earth when you go to america they spend dollars yes or no because that's their currency when you belong to a system that is satanic sickness is the currency that is the currency degradation devaluation is the currency because it's a satanic agenda it, this, this currency of this world this is why we need authority you know why because although we're in this world there's a tendency for the currency to walk in us but if we have power we can stop the influence of this demonic spirit we can stop what the influence of this demonic spirit so if satan is the god of this world the question that so how do we have authority over him how do we have authority over philippians chapter 2 hallelujah philippians chapter 2 thank you oh ah mana and i will come and bow down at your feet lord jesus in your presence his fullness of joy there is nothing there is no one to compare with you i take pleasure in worshiping i take take pleasure 
He worshiped me. I took, took pleasure in worshiping you, Lord. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. The lamb upon the throne. The lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knee. I gladly bow my knee to worship you, Lord. Forever you will be. Forever you will be. So lament the Katwaskis, the drone, the lamb upon the drone. I gladly bow my knee, gladly bow my knees to worship you alone. Wave your hands anywhere you're seated. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Wave your hands. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. Please put down your hands. Learn to value the presence of the Holy Spirit. You know, many of you, you think you're very smart. That's, what, that's your biggest problem. Because the one that is very smart becomes full of himself. And has no space for God to assist him. That's a big challenge. You think you're very smart. You, you, there's a way you want to run it. Have you not noticed? The people that think they're the prettiest have no husbands. They have no husbands. The people that think they are the smartest, they are the ones they took the biggest. Because the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. Is this God? That's just mess. You will just see someone made a lot of money. You're like, what was, I'm more brilliant than this guy. In school, this guy, have you noticed, people that are doing well the most in your set were not the first class students. Where are the first class students? They're in the offices with high. They have tie, they have first class, but they, yet yeah, they don't have money. They were the ones that were sucking their jeans. Hey, 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 hey. The reason why is that sometimes be careful not to brag in what is not what's not real. The other day, you know, I, I, I met a lady. She was the when I was going to school, she was the hottest girl in my class, in my set. We're all in our forties now, and she's not married. I was shocked. I thought when I was young that if someone would get married first, it would be this one. All the ones we thought were not very beautiful are all married with children. Ha. Learn to value God's presence, Mr. Rich Man, Mrs. First Lady. Learn to value God's presence. Learn to, learn to stay and just fall and say, Lord, I want to know. Many of you, the things are brought to where you are, you stop doing it. There was a time you were given to prayer, midnight prayer, early morning prayer. But now, success has come. As a way you, if there's traffic, I would just go and watch online. You know, I'm not in for, I'm not in for all that again. I'm not a big boy. Ah, not like that. Not like that. You are my dwelling place. You'd always fill my heart with joy. Of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say that I am strong in the strength of the Lord. Hey, you are my dwelling place. You are my dwelling place, Jesus. You are my you, my heart. Songs. Of deliverance 
whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I turn on my new color, the lake of the strong. In the strength of the and I will trust in you. I will not put my trust in my degrees. I will not put my trust in my money. I will not put my trust. I will put my take a sister katata. Let me not corrupt it. Let the weak say, Hallelujah. I'm strong. In the The tendency is that as you do well in life, you begin to put your trust in what you do well in. The tendency is as you do well, your trust will begin to be in those things. But I will put my trust in him. Is it that put that trust in me will not be ashamed? As we look at the subject of spiritual authority, the question is that how is the secret place? How is your place of prayer? How is your place of worship? Do you just come to church to my register? You need incentive to come to church. They must call you and follow you up and say, Come to church. They must call you for MLP prayer. My brother, who are you? You are dust that God gave life to. Because they are calling you chief and sir, you are getting confused of who you really are. Ah, don't let the title confuse you. Dust shut up. Does she die at all? When Queen Elizabeth died, the last thing they said was, let's lower Elizabeth. No more Queen. Elizabeth. He said, let's strip her of all of our honor and lower Elizabeth back to the grave. Thank you, Lord. And the reason why I'm saying so is that some of you just need to be reminded. That car is wonderful. House is wonderful. Ease is wonderful, but at the center of it all, it's you. I say, Be careful, be careful, because the more successful you are, the, the stronger you can become stubborn to the Holy Ghost. When, when you were young and you didn't have anything, turn right, you will turn right, turn left, you will turn left. But as you grow older, you said. Um, all this fasting what was the purpose what am I even fasting for you now have an opinion when the Holy Ghost is talking you, you now have an opinion when the Holy Ghost is talking the one that made you is talking you now have an opinion the Holy Ghost say give you are arguing the reason why is that it was because there is now something to give when there was nothing to give you even gave by faith At the center of it all, it's you, it's you that, that I, I see. see. It's you, it's you that, that I see. I never saw the ball of Oh Lord, at, at the center, center of it all, all. It's, it's you, you that, that I see. It's you that I see. It's you that. Where's the trauma? I take him and I got that. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name. In your name, in your name, in your name, Lord. As we lift our voice and pray. It's you that I seek. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Who is he? Who is he? I see the glory of God. 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 Than the big 
Jesus. He was strong, stronger than the storm. Higher, higher, higher than the higher. You say it's the biggest, he's the bigger than the biggest. When the doctor says, We're sorry, we can't help you, he will say, There's a name that is above every other name, sir. When in the office, competition on the right, pressure on the left, you look up to heaven. Oh, yeah, shall up, yeah, I yeah. am all of my help coming from the Lord. The Lord will make the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer my foot to be wound. He's the one that said, Lift up your heads, O ye creature, and the lifting of ye everlasting doors. Let the King of Glory come in. Who is this King of Glory? He's the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, for he is the King of Glory. My God. Listen to me, someone. I don't know how many of you feel as if God is done. But what you think is an end is a bend. I don't know if you heard me. What you think is an end is actually a bend. When you come to what you think is the end of the end, then there's another way right there. Because we serve a mighty God that answer prayers but the key question is this at the center of it all Lord teach me to keep my focus on you either I become very rich or I have many challenges some people their problem is the idol they worship uh, have you heard me some people their problem is the their problem has become the idol they worship you will hear things like it was when I didn't get married and see a husband that everything changed. It was when I didn't get the approval that everything changed. And you're, you're forgotten that your God is bigger than your problem. That your problem cannot define the goodness and the power of your God. Some people, the success they have has changed who they are. When, like Saul, when they were small in their sight, they knew how to fall on their knees and break down with worship and prostrate. But as they began to do well, they outgrew prayer. Hey! They outgrew worship. They outgrew service. They outgrew fasting. They outgrew themselves to become a captive of their success. And today the Lord is calling you to return home. Some of you, it's time to wipe out your dusty Bible. On your phone, you have all manners of app. The only app you don't have is Bible app. It's time to wipe away your dusty Bible and say, I'm coming back to the art of worship. I'm coming back to the art of worship. Where it's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm sorry, Lord. He's the greatest. Where it's all about you. Where it's all about you. Jesus. Everyone stand on your feet. Let's use the next three minutes to we don't want to be one to cry out to God. It is one thing to pray, it's another thing to cry out to God. It, I don't want any pastor to help me. I just want to hear the voices. I want it. I don't want anyone to help me. I want him to cry out to God. I want to cry out to God. Lord, I need a personal revival. I need a personal encounter. Oh, cry out to God. Ah, cry out to God. 
just to trust you oh. teach us to keep you as a focus of our life oh. teach us to prioritize the fellowship of the Holy Ghost teach us to prioritize your word and time in prayer Holy Ghost we've had our way for so long but it's time for you to have your way Holy Ghost we've had our way for so long it's time for you to have your way we are no longer struggling with your leading Holy Spirit have your way in and out I'm praying that the dealings of God will start in your life. That the spirit of God will stir up a revival in your soul. And you will have deeper and deeper encounters. We give you praise. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, you can have your set. Oh, wow. What a presence. What a glory in this place. Oh, we worship you, Lord Jesus. Praise God.